Welcome back guys for another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be doing the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, we're going to do the Youth Category stage and the team that I decided to bring this time was the Last Resort. Um, again, this is easily probably one of my favorite teams in the game. As you can see, we brought um, a friend, Vegito, and then we brought, you know, my leader is going to be the Gogeta. We got the OG Fusions, the Int and the Physical one. We got Trunks and Mai as well as Tech Vegito Blue. So this is the team that we're going to be running here. It's going to be a very, I would say, clean and I would say relatively easy run. So again, let's just hop in. Let's just start. Uh, of course, we want to get these blue fusions to start stacking, uh, you know, their attack and their base forms. And then once we get them to transform, they're going to be uh, stacking that attack and defense. So there it is. So this friend Vegito has three dupes. So he's at 90%. Again, a nice 2 million. Um, a lot of people are, are under the impression that maybe the blue fusions aren't really the best in their base. Personally, I disagree with it. I think that they're fantastic in their base forms. Obviously, they're not going to be as, you know, super crazy or, you know, like super impressive as other units are. But, um, of course, you know, they're built in a way so that they have to, you know, uh, build up first before, like, they really show off their super crazy, uh, you know, uh, power. So, again, you know, this, um, you know, uh, Ent Vegito, uh, pretty good unit. Again, the reason why I bring these guys is, again, if we fall under 50% HP, they do have that chance... Well, not they do have the chance, but they um, automatically, after I believe it is five turns, transform into their fusions, and um, you know they have that uh, full heal uh, towards the end. So we have Trunks and Mai here. Uh, I think I'm going to put Tech Vegito Blue because again, with every single run that I do, I like to prioritize attacks for Tech Vegito Blue because again he needs uh, those super attacks to really kick in so that he builds not only his attack but as well as his defense. So again, I am going to be heavily relying. Uh, both on this Tech Vegito Blue. Obviously, I'm not going to be worried about the Blue Fusions. I'm also going to be, uh, you know, relying on Trunks and Mai to get additionals because, again, Trunks and Mai, they greatly raise their defense on Super Attack, and I want full additionals for them. So, and they're at, like, 100k, I saw. So, we're going to be at a consistent, like, 160, 150k with them. So, again, I need them to be at a consistent double Super. Oh, so Chi-Chi. Okay, so, I mean, that's not horrible. That is a little unfortunate, and this is a little worrisome because again, Vegito's in. So, ooh, this is the, I mean, this is a little concerning now that I'm thinking about it because Gogeta sealed. Uh, both of them are attack. Uh, She's in. Oh boy! So don't tell me we're gonna die already. Maybe we might die. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have to use an item this early. So this is actually. A lot more diff difficult than I expected. Huh. Okay. I mean, he has a 50% chance to dodge um, in the third slot, so... If he could dodge for us, um, that'd be really good. I mean, that double super is also going to be really impactful. Because, again, they build their attack in their base forms. Ooh, triple. Uh, so, again, people say that the blue fusions are not good in their base. I would just disagree with them and kind of show them this. He triple supered. Uh, I need you to dodge, Vegito. No, you did not. Ah, uh, you- <clears throat> We're dead. Cut the cameras. Alright guys, we are back at where we left off. Um, again, I did take a little bit more time in, you know, getting here just so that I could get the blue fusions to transform. I did bring a friend Gogeta instead of a friend Vegito. Okay, so looks like this Chi Chi only supers on her attacks because, I mean, he did take less damage than... Uh, Vegito did so we are gonna live but I am gonna have to use an item next so Surprisingly, I would say this stage is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be um, That actually really surprised me so we should not take as much because again he did just raise his defense Yep, 84k now Annoying thing is that she does seal uh, Which is unfortunate because again, I need you know Vegito and Gogeta to build up Okay, so next rotation. Hmm. Do we have anybody who is super effective against her? I think I floated off the physical Gogeta. But, um, okay, we should be good. Yep, yeah, okay, he's here. That's perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Again, I have to build this uh, Vegito up. We should be fine because I, Vegito should be able to finish it off. I mean, I might not use an item, we're at like 300k, uh, we should be fine. Hopefully she doesn't finish him off, oh, she, he did. I kind of wanted him to maybe get a double super there, double stack. Okay, so now we are facing 
grilling. Okay, so everyone's defense is decent. Gonna give all that to Gogeta. Get some nice healing too. Uh, we are gonna be able to heal. Okay, so this should be a full 24, 3.3. This friend is at 90%. So again, we're just looking at Gogeta just pop off right here. 3.3, super effective against all types with the crit. Additional crit as well. I'm actually going to look at the build that he went for that Gogeta because I think he went full crit with that Gogeta because um, he's actually crit. Every single attack that he's done in blue so far has been a crit, which is a little interesting. So I kind of want to see if he went full crit for him because honestly, I would go full additional. Ooh, okay, so this is actually... We should be fine. Yeah, 87k. That's that. I mean, that is a lot of damage, but it's not horrible. Again, because, you know, the blue fusions, they just barely transform. Vegito hasn't had a chance to really super a whole lot. Because we can already use our active skill, but, um, again, I need this guy to build up. I need him to get, um, additionals. Uh, again, that's the only thing that really blocks this, I would say, this tech Vegito from being really good. Is just the fact that he's so heavily based on RNG. You know, he's got that, uh, two great chances, but again, they're all dependent on RNG. And if he, ooh, he, he, at least he got two. That's better than just one. But um, again, my issue with him is that he's too heavily RNG based, and uh, that's also why I sometimes give it, uh, STR UI Goku such a hard time, is because he's you know super RNG based, and that's just something that I don't. Oh, come on, dude. Well, he locks rotations. Yeah, I'm gonna put him up front because you have type advantage, and then. Ooh, we're gonna get the Dokkan attack. Okay, so that's actually gonna be okay because then we'll fully heal up and we won't, we, and we won't have to use an item. Uh, and then I feel like we could one turn this Chaozu because again, if this guy has full crit and he crits here, he should be able to kill him. Because what is he at? He is at a uh, three million. So again, I feel like we should crit. And then Trunks and Mai, if he still has a little bit of health left, uh, health left, Trunks and Mai should be able to, uh, you know, kill him. But again, I feel like we can one-turn this. Because again, Vegeta with this double super. Yeah, he's dead. Five million. Damn, these blue fusions are freaking ridiculous, dude. Oh my god, we're just blowing through this. Again, you know, once the fusions transform, it's... It's it's a GG from there. Okay, so... I'm gonna give that to you. Again, I need Tech Vegeta Blue to kind of pop off here. Get a couple supers, maybe get four in a row. Um, I actually have seen him do four in a row. It's absolutely crazy the amount of damage he can do. But, um, again, he is heavily RNG-based. But, um, again, I would like it if he would get those quadruple supers because then that would help him build up his defense. Which, again, is also another reason that really, you know, knocks him down is his uh, lack of defense. So, we actually really do need him to do it now because just looking at how much damage Gogeta took from normals, uh, this tech Vegito Blue, if he gets super, we could die. But um, hopefully we don't get supered. I'm actually praying right now that we don't get supered. How about another one? Yes, 2.6. So again, this guy actually builds up pretty fast and like really quickly too. Ooh, good God, we did not get supered. Hell yeah. Okay, so if he supers this uh, Vegito, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage because again, he's at like 100 something K defense with type advantage. I actually wish that they would release another version of Gohan just like this where he's in his grade 8 because um so far i don't think we've really had a grade 8 gohan all that much from what i can tell okay, so you're at 110 okay so you're good okay so i mean like i said before uh another grade 8 gohan would be good from the saiyan saga again uh i did just post a video on the tournament of power card ideas i feel like i might do it as well for the uh saiyan saga just because of all the units that we can get from there um, you know, we we did get some really nice units. We got the free-to-play Krillin card. We also got Nap and Vegeta, which is also really good. Um, we got, well, this was a little bit like last year, but um, during fourth year anniversary, but we got the Kaok and Goku and the uh, Scouter Vegeta, the tech and physical one. But um, again, I would really love to see some more representation, both from like the Saiyan Saga as well as from the original Dragon Ball series, I think would be really good. Uh, you know, I could do, you know, a video discussing my card ideas, because honestly, I feel like they deserve it, you know, because 
uh, pay uh, homage to the original series of Dragon Ball, I think is a really good idea that they could do. And I don't think many people would oppose that idea. I feel like many people would embrace it, and I feel like the cards would do really well. Because Int Kid Goku, when he first released on JP, he got the fastest top grossing, I think, that they've ever seen. Like, he got top grossing literally... I don't want to, like... Uh, underestimate or overestimate but i think it was maybe like two two to four hours after he dropped he like got top grossing so uh he's one of those units that like instantly got top grossing because of you know how hype uh the character was because again uh i think the japanese uh, player base is like super big on the original dragon ball series and um even though i personally have not seen the series i would just really love to see more uh more of those cards because again you know pay homage to uh, this series that started it all and you know i think it and personally i think the dragon ball saga category could really use the buffs because again you know that's a team i genuinely would would like to run um because i do have uh tech master roshi as well as demon king piccolo so i can run the team but um again i would love to see more of that in game so Ooh, okay, so everyone's got solid defense, so again, but just for the sake of not dying, I'm going to put Trunks in my there. And then Gogeta can hit that, and then Vegito, I'm just going to half float around. So, Trunks and Mai, if they, if they tank the super attack, and if they can, like, double super again, that would make it easier for Gogeta to kind of finish them off. So they did not double super, but that's fine. You know, they raise their defense, so if they get super, they should be fine. Um, you know... Ah, okay, so they're probably going to Super Gogeta, but he's at a 4.3 Super Effective against all types. Hopefully he crits, like I said before. I think this man has more crits. I still haven't checked at his build yet, but okay, so never mind. We don't even need a crit. Okay, so we're heading on to... Who's next? Pan. Okay, so this is going to be easy. We just put Gogeta up there. What does Pan do? Pan did something. Oh, wait, so she seals. Okay, so everyone's defense is okay, but um, again, as long as Pan doesn't super, like, immediately, we should be fine. Because, again, you know, they raise their defense on super attack. Okay, good, so we are going to be able to super first. And again, super effective against all types. I mean, these blue fusions are just absolutely nuts. Um, uh, even though they have basically been replaced as, you know, being the top units in the game, I just still think that they're amazing units. Um, of course, these units are not built for short events. Uh, as you know, Full Power Jiren kind of takes the crown now as being the best unit in the game. Even over STR UI Goku, I would say, because again, Goku is RNG based. That's just something that I think is not super reliable all the time. Because again, you can have the most horrible luck and not dodge a single attack, which has happened to me, which is why I don't really rate them as high as everybody else. But um, again, you know, Jiren with that 200%. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, there's no other unit that can really do what he does. So, okay, so Pan did super it. At, okay, we only took 41. That's basically nothing. And again, this is the 90% one, so again, we should be fine. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Double super. And so we're not taking damage. Oh, it, it almost killed. Jesus. We almost killed. Wait, who did he seal is what I want to know. Did he seal Vegeta? Yes, he did seal Vegeta. But since Vegeta has a ton of supers, I feel like, yeah, we're going to kill her. Um, I'm not sure if this is the last rotation, too. Oob. I'm not sure if Oob's the last person. Might be. I'm not entirely sure, though. Who should we put in front? Okay, that's mine. Okay, for sure we're going to put you. Hmm. If we can get him under, you know, the HP threshold, then I'll use the active skills or maybe i should have put vegeto there oh damn i think we might die don't tell me we, we might die oh crap oh yeah we might die oh boy i probably should have put vegeto there i mean after we super we're, we're gonna be fine but damn he hits pretty hard i mean to be fair that is expected by the final boss but still jesus <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna be fine. As long as he doesn't super again, we should live. I mean, if he does super again... Gogeta Steve... We might die if we get supered again. Hopefully we don't. Please, for the love of God. Okay, good. So, we're gonna use uh, Android 8 next rotation for sure. Unfortunately, we did not get him under the 
HP threshold. Unless maybe he gets a double super and a crit? No. Wait. Yes, we got the fusion off. Okay, so we don't actually have to use an item. But I think I just will. Just because, you know, I, I don't want to risk it. And, you know, this, uh, you know, Gogeta. Actually, no, I'm not going to use an item because I got trunks in my, so. Actually, we're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're totally going to be fine. I'm just going to give that. And then we're going to give this Gogeta that. Okay, so we should be fine. Again, I'm not too worried. Again, double digits is great. If he supers them, again, they've got type advantage. And even if he uh, supers the Gogeta, again, he just needs to super attack first, and he'll be fine. Uh, does he super attack them? No, he's not super attacking them for some reason. So that is a 4.3. I'm not sure if he's fully built up yet. He might be. But again, we did not get his full 24 key. So for sure, we're going to be able to use the active skills next rotation. Okay, so he does super Gogeta. Okay, so that's not bad, because, again, uh, you know, we got fully healed by Gogeta. Oh, is this Gogeta super effective against all types? I, I want to check that out, because he's doing a lot of damage for a unit that has type disadvantages. Let me just quickly check, because it's been a while since I've, um, you know, uh, used him, or seen him actually transform. Where are you? Okay, so he's super effective against all types, so that explains it. So, hmm... The first active skill I want to use... Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm gonna use Vegito's first. Okay, so... Uh, here we go. Like the giant idiot I am, I played the active skill, but I did not record it. No, that was my fault. That was my bad. So, again, again guys, that was the youth category stage. Last resort team, we absolutely blasted through that stage was not difficult at all we got our 20 dragon stones we got our turtle shells we got some hercule statues we got some sleepy kai's uh great re uh great rewards i might go back and try to do the universe 6 one where you got universal survival saga units because again youth and world tournament i have absolutely and uh, aside from that i don't even have the proper leaders uh like for sure you're gonna need a physical vegeto the one that leads uh, the Majin Buu Saga category, and I don't even have him, so I can't even lead uh, that team. So anyways, guys, that's going to do for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, very easy with the last resort. We absolutely crushed and demolished it. Again, I deeply apologize for not getting his active skill. That was my fault. That's on me. Um, again, so anyways, guys, that's going to do for today's video, as I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next one.